7 x power 9 plus x power 7 plus x power 5 divided by x power 8 plus x power 7 plus x power 6 is equal to 3. So we have to find out the value of x here. How we can find out the value of x? Let's see solution. x power 9 plus x power 7 plus x power 5 divided by x power 8 plus x power 7 plus x power 6 is equal to 3. This is question, right? So, we can convert this 9 in this uh, 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 less power is here 5. So, 5 plus 4 is 9, 5 plus 2 is 7. So, we can write this x power 9 is x power 5 plus 4 plus x power 7. 7 is 5 plus 2 plus x power 5 divided by x power 8. So, here less power is 6, right? Lowest power that is 6. So, we can convert this 8 here 6 plus 2 and this one is 6 plus 1. So, here x power 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 is 8 plus x power 6 plus 1 is 7 plus x power 6 is equal to 3. Now, we know one formula that is if a power m plus n a power m plus n is given so we can write this a power m times a power n now using this formula here we can write this one x power 5 times x power 4 so here x power 5 times x power 4 plus x power 5 times x power 2 plus x power 5 this one divided by x power 6 times x power 2 plus x power 6 times x power 1 plus x power 6 is equal to 3. Right. Now, here x power 5, x power 5, x power 5. So, we can take common x power 5 in numerator. So, x power 5 we are taking common. So, left term that is x power 4, x power 4 plus x power 2 plus x power 5 is already we, uh, we have taken common so here 1 divided by now here x power 6 x power 6 x power 6 so we can take common here x power 6 so left term that is x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 3 right now here x power 5 here x power 6 so this power 5 will cancel this x power 5 so here left term that is 1 upon x right now we can write this one 1 upon x times 1 upon x times here this is x power 4 so this x power 4 we can convert into square form so x square whole square that is x power 4 plus x square plus 1 right plus 1 divided by here x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 3 right now we can here uh, in numerator we can here uh, add and subtract x square so adding and subtracting x square in numerator we will get here so we will get here 1 upon x x square whole square plus x square plus 1 now plus x square minus x square we are adding and subtracting here so where will be same here x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 3. Now here 1 upon x. Now we can write this one x square whole square plus 
x square plus x square it will become here 2 x square 2 x square plus 1 square plus 1 that is we can write here 1 square right minus x square this one minus x square divided by x square plus x plus 1 equal to 3 now this is the form of a square plus 2 a b plus b square right where we can say where a equal to x and b equal to 1 so a equal to x square a equal to x square plus 1 a equal to x square plus 1 and b equal to uh, sorry x b equal to x so here x square plus 1 so we can write this one you can say here 1 upon x x square plus 2 x square x square whole square plus 2 x square plus 1 so this is the form of x plus 1 whole square here x square plus 1 whole square and this is minus x square right divided by x square plus x plus 1 x square plus x plus 1 x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 3 now this is the form of a square minus b square a square minus b square so a square minus b square equal to we know that a plus b times a minus b here a equal to x square plus 1 and b equal to x square so we can write here x square plus 1 plus x times x square plus 1 minus x divided by x square plus x plus 1 equal to 3 and here 1 upon x right so we can write this one 1 upon x here x square plus x plus 1 x square plus 1 minus x divided by x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 3 now here x square plus x plus 1 x square plus x plus 1 so we can cancel this term here now 1 upon x here x square plus 1 minus x equal to 3 right now we can write this x square plus 1 minus x minus x is equal to this is in denominator so here it will become in multiplication form that is 3x in numerator so here x square minus x minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0 minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0 so here x square minus x minus 3x minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 now adding both side 3 so here adding 3 on both sides to simplify this equation. So when we are adding here 3 on both sides we will get here x square minus 4x plus 1 plus 3 is equal to 0 plus 3 right. Now x square minus 4x 3 plus 1 4 plus 4 is equal to 0 plus 3. 3. Now here x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 3. We can write this one x square minus this is 4x so this 4x we can write 2 times 2x 2 times 2x that is 4x plus this 4 we can write here 2 square 2 square is 4 is equal to 3. Now x square minus 2 times 2x plus 2 square is equal to 3. 3. So, this is the form of you can say a minus b whole square that is value will be a square minus 2ab plus b square where a is equal to x and b is equal to 2. So, a square that is x square minus 2 times a is 2x 2ab plus b square b is 2 2 square right. So, we can write here x minus 2 whole square is equal to 3. This is the equation form here. x minus 2 whole square equal to 3. This is the value of x minus 2 whole square and this is 3. Now we have to cancel this square. So we can take here square root. So square root 
on both sides we will get we are taking square root on both sides x minus 2 whole square is equal to square root of 3 now square is cancelled from square root so here x minus 2 is equal to square root of 3 right now we can say value of x is equal to plus minus square root of 3 plus 2 right or you can say value of x is equal to 2 plus minus square root of 3 this is the value of x in this equation this is the solution thank you